Good morning everybody, thank you for coming back to the channel, sorry it's been a little while. Um, for today's video we are looking at the newly released Playmobil 64 piece Back to the Future set. How cool does this thing look? Let's take a look. Okay so here's the box in a little bit more detail. Um, we've got the classic scene from Twin Pines Mall. Um, the original Back to the Future colours and theming, really nice box. Yeah, let's have a look at the back of the box. Okay, so this is the back of the box. It gives a little bit more detail as to what it looks like inside. And some of the things that you actually get with the kit. There's two extra figures that you can get from Doc and Marty in 1955. Smith sold out of those pretty quick. I couldn't actually get hold of them. Um, this is a Smith's exclusive, by the way, Smith's Toys. Um, there we go. Okay, so one thing about the packaging first before we start is um, I wasn't impressed with the way it was actually packed. Um, there was no inserts at all. Um, the pieces for the figures and the accessories were just in loose plastic bags. And the actual body of the car was just in the box, loose. Um, it wasn't secured by any means of polystyrene or cardboard or anything. It was just literally rattling around loose. I actually thought pieces were broken when I got when I tipped the box. Everything just like fell from one side to the other, and I was like, "Oh man, this isn't good." Um, but it's, it's just the way it's packed by the company. Um, not too good in my opinion. Um, if anything was to be put down on the box with force or anything like that, I think stuff would easily break. It needs to be better packaged inside. Okay, so um, I did already go ahead and put this together. It took me about half an hour. It does say on the box for ages six plus. <laughs> Must be why I like it so much. Um, I thought it was a little bit fiddly. I would say that a six-year-old would probably struggle on their own trying to do this. Um, there's a lot of sticker work involved on the actual vehicle itself. Um, these are all stickers. Um, the backlights and everything are stickers. Um on the front here on the bumper that's all stickers now obviously it's not difficult putting stickers on but if you want them like put on correctly and um not overlapping and uh, all over the place i would probably uh, get a little bit of adult supervision to help with the stickers okay so you get loads of um accessory pieces here is marty's skateboard yep he stands on that you pop that little block on the top there and that goes in between his feet and he stands on that there uh, Marty himself, um, he comes with little uh, cuffs from the 80s and a little uh, video recorder there. It's a cool figure. Doc, I absolutely love this guy's hairline. That's tremendous. Um, he comes with his little uh, his little utility work pouch. Um, this little uh, radio there and the remote control. Again, it's a sticker on there that needs to be popped on. I need easy... He doesn't require any assembly. Uh, and his tail moves up and down. Um, you get the little plutonium box with extra plutonium for the return trip. Um, all the yellowing on this box is sticker work that all has to be put on. The handle is a sticker also that has to be put on individually. And yeah, as we can see, that looks really cool. Okay, so... We'll pop these over there and have a look at the car. Okay, let's have a look at the vehicle itself. Um, it's a really nice representation of the DeLorean, as you can see. Um, it looks really cool. Um, so, it's basically just the shell of the car when you take it out of the box. There's no wheels, there's none of this pipe work, there's no clips, none of the blue, none of the uh, exhaust parts, none of the DeLorean. It's just the basic... Um, plain silver shell so it does take quite a little bit of time to pop everything onto the car snap everything into place put the stickers on make sure it all looks uh, tremendous um, the doors are the authentic gull wing there we go you can have a look inside let me see if I can get in a little bit closer for you there's the time circuits unfortunately they don't light up um, which is a little bit of a shame, but I'm sure somebody could probably mod this, mod this so they do. 
Um, there's the uh, flux capacitor. It's what makes time travel possible inside there as well. The detail on this thing is tremendous. Um, for a Playmobil set, they really uh, up the game with this one, I think. Um, now, a lot of people were like, well, why doesn't this come with the hoverboard? But this is the actual one from Back to the Future. It's not Back to the Future 2. Um, so, obviously, um, Marty didn't get his hoverboard until the second film. So, anyway, that being said, there is a little battery compartment there with a little button that you pop in. It takes um, two AAA batteries and we'll have a look in the lights at that in a second i'll do that in the dark now the wheels do flip um up to give it a uh, flight mode as we can see there yeah so it's these little let me pop this down we'll get a better look these little buttons here there and there and there it's just a very gentle push towards the wheel arch and that releases the wheel um, and it flips around into flight mode. I'll show you that now. So there we go. The wheels are now all in flight mode. You get the nice little satisfying click when they move into flight mode. And there we have it. That looks really cool. Okay, so we will uh, turn out the lights and we will have a look at this thing when it's lit up. Okay, so as I was saying before, this button underneath, sorry, I've uh, turned the light on already. It's right here where my thumb is. You press it once for the lights to flash. Press it again. The lights go solid. Press it again. They turn off. They don't stay on indefinitely. Um, if you do press it and leave it, they go off after it goes off after a few minutes. So let's pop them on solid and have a look and how cool is that and even looking that through the front windscreen there the flux capacitor and it's not just even one solid color it's different colors as well like it was in the film how great is that flashing mode now there we go how good does that look even the flux capacitor is flashing inside oh there we go and then it turns solid let's look at the car in flight mode and we popped Doc and Marty in there as well how cool is that one last thing, we also get the um, hook, the lighting hook from the end of the original film, which pops into the car there. And there we go. How great is that? There we go, folks. Uh, that's our look at the new Playmobil DeLorean Back to the Future set. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, Stay tuned, we've got lots of cool stuff coming up. Um, I've got lots of stuff on the way that I'll be doing reviews on. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, that'd be great. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. If there's anything you'd like me to um, review next time I look at, please leave a comment and just let me know what you think. Thanks very much, guys. Stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.